values. Literature very often is about a conflict of... Values. Now, where do we get our values? Winnie. From school? Yes. Anywhere else? Kevin. From our parents. Yes, okay. Very good, Kevin. Parents. Anywhere else? The Beatles? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is very good. We do get a lot of our tastes and our values from our cultural heroes. Now, is there anywhere else that we might get our values. Hmm? TV. How about books? Oh, oh books. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. do we always agree on, on what values should be? That was Joey Santano. He'd always wait for Miss White to ask a really easy rhetorical question. Yes. And then he'd get it wrong. Anybody else? Yes, Mr. Pfeiffer? No. Good. Now, do values change through time? Say, from generation to generation? Christine Hansen. She always gave these thoughtful, complete, downright inspired answers. She made us all sick, but teachers loved her. Yes, Miss White. Some values change from generation to generation. But I think the really important ones are the heartfelt human values. And they stay the same throughout the ages. It's very good, Christine. Okay. What a pain in the ass. Okay. Now, as we read, as we evaluate those characters that we meet, how do we know? Which values should change? And which values are, as Christine so eloquently put it, heartfelt and timeless? That was a tough question at any time. But in 1968... Yes, Christine. Can I go to the bathroom? In 1968, even Christine Hansen couldn't answer that one. <laughs>